Okay, so of course what you'll need is oil, honey, and bananas, and of course a blender. Bananas and honey are both known to give your hair tons of moisture and shine, which is greatly needed after their protective style. So this is definitely going to bring that dull hair back to life. And of course we're using oil to help seal in all of that moisture. After being blended, this is what my mask is looking like. Nice and thick and creamy, looking good to eat. But we're not gonna eat it, we're gonna put it in our hair. So let's get started. Okay, so as you guys already know, I like to start my styles or anything that I do from the back to the front and in sections. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you see. Okay, so what I'm basically doing is making sure that my hair is somewhat detangled, finger detangling it, and I'm going to slap on the mask. Okay, so from the back to the front, from the ends to the roots, I'm going to completely cover my hair with my Honey Banana Hair Mask. I also wanted to talk to you guys about my hair and what's been going on with it. So I recently cut my hair. If you follow me on Instagram, then you should already know that I cut my hair about two or three inches um, about a month ago. And for that reason being, was color damage. You guys, not only has color damage affected me, but it has been sweeping through the natural hair community, affecting naturals like Minnie Marley, Hazel Goddess, and many more. So not only did I have to cut off my hair, but they've had to cut off theirs as well, which hit a major setback for all of us naturals, which kind of made me feel a little better because I did not want to cut my hair, y'all. I did not want to, <laughs> but it needed to be done. So here we are. Um, also, my edges were breaking off, so I've been taking time out to taking the time out to try to grow them out. Over the past few months, I've been wearing protective styles, trying to grow my hair back out. Um, spraying rice water in my hair, trying to grow it out. So yeah, I'm on a mission, y'all. Back in August though, when I did dye my hair, I did not notice right away that my hair was damaged. I did, however, notice a difference in my hair right after I washed the dye out. My hair felt completely stripped but it still felt, you know, healthy. But as the months went by, I noticed my hair was shedding a lot more. My styles were coming out really thin looking and um, my hair was just pretty much, did not feel the same at all. And my hair was just pretty much limp at that point. So yes, you guys, if you feel like you have color damage or any type of damage at all towards your hair, look for those signs. Um, I had stripness, shedding, thinning, dullness, all of that goes into play. So for the past couple of months, I've just been trying to bounce back, y'all. And I think I'm now getting to the point where my hair is basically back to normal. You know, my hair, you know, my curls are popping. My hair is starting to look more full. So yeah, I'm slowly but surely bouncing back. So after about 20 to 30 minutes, this is what my hair is looking like. And y'all, my hair feels so good. It feels so moisturized and my curls are popping. I did sit under a dryer for about five minutes, just to let some heat in and let that mask penetrate my hair shaft. And it feels so good. I'm going ahead and rinse this out and then I'm going to slap in my shampoo and my conditioner. For my 
my shampoo, I'm using Cream of Nature's new Clay and Charcoal Softening Moisture Replenish Shampoo. It's not exactly new, but it's my first time using it. It has activated charcoal, rasso and benefit clay, and aloe vera juice. It has no sulfates, no mineral oil, and no petroleum. The shampoo is very thick and creamy, which I love. Y'all yeah, know I love my thick and creamy products. Um, and immediately it starts to suds up, which I love. It's making my finger detangling process much, much easier. Um, it's making it very easy for me to comb through my hair. Using the shampoo so far, I really feel like it's getting the job done. My hair feels so moisturized and so clean, y'all. And then I'm not getting that strip feeling at all, so it's just running through my fingers and running through my hair so smoothly. And here's my hair once it's been rinsed out. And I'm so happy at this point, y'all, because just the hair mask and shampoo alone has my curls popping. Okay, next is the conditioner, which has the same benefits as the shampoo. So far, I want to say the difference between the shampoo and the conditioner is the consistency. Um, it's pretty much the same, if not thicker, and it has more of that clay look and feeling to it. So, so far I am loving the conditioner. Um, it's kind of like a deep conditioner if nothing else. It's very thick and creamy. Very easy to work with. Very easy to run through my hair. And so yeah, and it has my curls popping. So yeah, I'm loving the conditioner so far. Here is my hair once I am done applying the conditioner. I'm going to let the conditioner sit for about five minutes and then I'm going to rinse it out. Thank y'all again for joining me for another video. This has been my DIY hair mask and wash day vid and I will see y'all in the next one.